to get a record on. Okay, right on. Um, so what I'm going to show today is um, I'm just going to walk through some various pieces as um, anybody who follows on Twitter or, or on the blog knows. Um, you know, I post screen pit, screen caps or GIFs or... <laughs> there you are, Eula. Welcome. <laughs> I was hoping you would join, a fellow uh, a fellow paladin. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'm going to walk through some of the gameplay. Um, it's an opportunity for anybody who has any questions about you know how things work or how you think they should work. Um, I'd love some feedback. Um, I get feedback in little pockets here and there, but. Um, this would be an awesome opportunity if you want to uh, let me know. <laughs> All right. Um, so I know this is probably uh, uh, familiar to Yulo because she's a, a Unity programmer. Um, and I mean, this is a demo, so it's absolutely going to crash um, at some point, although it has been behaving lately. Uh, but I did do some last minute code changes today. So that just means it's going to bork sometime. Um, so you can see I've, I, I've sort of borrowed from the original um, here. And I'm going to start with a party that is um, fairly late game because it, the inventory is super full and, and they've advanced quite far. It's uh, one that I stole off the internet. Um, let's see. And as you can see, this is one of my older menus. I've made a lot of improvements over time um, as I learned Unity. Uh, so everything, is, including this, will get a bit of a remake at some point. Uh, but the idea is that we can, um, you can have multiple save files, which is different than the original, obviously. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so this is just. Um, where uh, so I'd be right by Minoc, and uh, these would be the uh, I was just testing um, burying multiple moonstones. Uh, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to turn off free move, which I have on by default, uh, which is just helps me get around um, a lot easier. Uh, these are some of the effects that I'm really kind of excited about because um, as you can see there's sort of this glow coming from uh, the moon gates um, which uh, which is pretty great y you may have noticed over time that my um, the some of the graphics are a little coarse or raw or not great like if you look at those mountains that's probably the first thing that i converted um, so they're pretty rough uh, at some point i'll go back over and uh, and fix them up. But for now, uh, I just sort of focus on gameplay. Um, and anybody, um, feel free to, if you have anything in particular that you want to see, um, let me know. And I'm happy to, to show you. Because we can, um, so what I have is these debug menus. So we can hop around anywhere. We can change the time of day, right? So if I want to go to Britain, you know, I can just get right into there. Um, so anything's possible. Um, right. So that uh, that blue that just popped up, that's just as resources and assets get loaded in. Um, right. So it, it's um, there's a lot of things that I haven't done yet uh, with this. Uh, so you can't start a new game 
you can only start from an existing save game. You can't actually save your save game yet. Um, so you just sort of load it. Um, but that's sort of secondary and it, it's not too tricky. Um, so I'm not, uh, I want to see Shadow Lords. <laughs> um, would you, uh, let me see. Okay. You know what? You're, <laughs> you're interacting. So let's, uh, let's see if I can make you a Shadow Lord. Uh, in, let's see. What do you think? Is it going to work? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Does that count? Um, let me see if I can put the Shadow Lord in his, uh, his natural, where he kicks our ass every time. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, there's our Shadow Lord. I, I don't, I haven't, I haven't done the programming for them yet to, uh, um, Oh, there. Okay. Um, so I haven't done the programming uh, yet for them um, in town because you know that they travel from town to town. Uh, so that'll come. But um, I'm just blown away as I go through these. Um, um, like as I'm programming and programming and it's just like nonstop, right? Um, the, the amount of content that the original programmers put in. Um, I have this giant mind map that is just like explodes like with the, the amazing amount of detail. And I feel like two years ago, I thought that I would be finished after two years. And I mean, I think I have another couple of years left. I'm only doing it part time, of course, but uh, uh, the magic realm of God knows we're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um yeah, you're pretty much done for here. I was reading an interesting thread today, though. Um, I mean, it might have been on Reddit, and that people were asking if you can kill uh, Shadow Lord, and apparently you can. Um, but that's what it said. I don't know. There is um, there's uh, flags for every enemy, and one of them is immortal. Uh, so, like Lord British, but yeah, there you go, Glass Sword. Um, you got to make it to the Shadow Lord to hit them with the glass sword, but uh, if you can if you can live that long. Uh, but I don't know what it would do in the original game. I guess I will have to try to account for that. Um, so well, since I'm on combat, um, something I, I to bugging is like this super important thing because um, if you need to repeat something over and over and over to give it a test. Um, then uh, um, y these debug menus and stuff, they, they save so much time, including uh, what you can see here, right? So I can cycle through um, the maps. <laughs> okay, these are actually dungeon maps. This is one that I just finished, um, sort of. Uh, there's Lord British, apparently, inside the mirror, even though it's a, a, a wizard. I, I don't know. Like it's this is all the crazy stuff that uh, that I keep hitting. Um, I, welcome, uh, Leonard. Uh, I know you well from uh, Twitter. Uh, it would dispel them, but they would come back after or later. Okay. Well, there you go. So whatever the original behavior is, I'll probably emulate that. Uh, yeah, but yeah. All right. Um, so this is one, I know I posted this on Twitter recently, and this is, um, how we can, um, uh, set up our, our, uh, fights. Now I'm almost certainly going to choose one that crashes it. I guarantee you. Let's see. Dungeon number 39. What could go wrong? Well, there's no enemies in it. That would do it. And so this is an interesting, you, you notice, so I told it that I wanted um, gremlins and it put orcs in. So some rooms are hard coded with certain enemies and some are not. Uh, 
yeah, there you go. Some reapers and bats. And they're all kicking my ass. Um, something I have done with the um, attacking is you can't see it, but so I'll just paste it in the chat, right? The tilde button that you would you would um, have on your keyboard. When you hit that, that becomes, oh, that was super fast, a uh, quick attack. And the notion here is like, this would be a hard fight. So you would never use the quick attack here because you're going to get your ass kicked. But um, you would use it in like, if you're fighting rats or orcs or something on the main map, and you just need to get through really quick. Um, and you're probably already packing magic axes. So you're just going to, uh, you're going to quick attack your way through. Um, another thing that, um, that I've added is, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's the battle report. So you see here, right? Th th this is the this is the quick attack. You know, you can also go and ta attack whoever you want. Um, but when I'm playing, I just go to the quick attack. So there's a victory, and then we escape, and then we'll also have the battle report. Um, so this is super handy. Just it really gives you a sense of. Um, who's getting the experience something that when I was playing I didn't really realize was um, like not everybody gets the experience and if uh, if the avatar does 95% of the damage but Shamino does gets the kill then Shamino gets the experience um, so you want to start being strategic about who you're leveling up and how um, as well notice there that this is a bug the round just keeps counting up forever Um, yeah, so we're back on the um, the overworld. Ye shouldn't it be ye old? What did I have? Did I not have? Did I miss an e? Probably. Let's see. Let's kick his ass really quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I have my notebook here too. So uh, I'm just going to take notes as we go too. <laughs> Should be ye old with an E. All right. Thank you. <laughs> it may be the first. It's not going to be the last. There's going to be plenty. Um it's not a buggy mess, but it is uh, not polished either. Not at all. Um, so here's Lord British's castle, as, as you know. This one is really interesting because every other sprite in this game is, is, is sort of individual. Uh, Lord British's castle is actually six sprites that they put together. So it was quite tricky. Because I had to like raise it and make it 3D, but it's still six separate sprites. It's anyway. Um, converting everything to the voxel format's been a, a pain in the butt. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, would you want to throw a link in the chat when you get a sec? I I, I didn't know that. Yeah, C64. I'll tell you the truth. I started. Um, my first computer was uh, an XT, so an 8086, which is where I played Ultima 5. It was the first Ultima game that I played. Um, so I pretty much skipped the C64. I am still blown away that people could play um, games off of uh, cassette decks. That's just wacky to me. All right. Well, let's just have a walk around. And I'll get off my carpet, even though I know everybody just gets the carpet as quickly as you can. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. Um, 
something that I did late uh, that was really interesting is you notice that there's it's it's dark in here, so that's um, a, I use the flood fill uh, with that for the longest time. I I wasn't um, I wasn't doing that. You can see here that uh, I don't actually close the doors when I'm done. So, but that actually happens in the game. There's actually a value for anybody who's into that kind of hacking um, that decrements as you walk away, and then it closes it. My first Apple II, 48K memory, more memory than you'll ever. Yeah. But <laughs> you know what? I feel like I missed out on the Apple II generation. Uh, I know some Apple II users, and yeah, right? It was, you had 64K, I had 640K. I guess I was a bit spoiled. Um, but I mean, it didn't take long, obviously, till that wasn't enough. Never mind, I mean, Ultima 6, Ultima 7. If for anybody who remembers the memory manager and that, that was awful. Used to have to uh, have a boot menu on my computer just to optimize the memory so I could actually play it. Um, so here we are in East Brittany. Uh, here's our... I'm curious... Um, if anybody has any perspectives, yeah, I don't know who has and who hasn't seen um, some of the changes. One of the changes, obviously, here is that that shopkeepers, um, it's a more interactive menu. It's a little more apparent what's happening. Uh, and when we go to a barkeep, I'll show you something that you probably already knew existed, but I didn't even really realize existed because I just walked right through it. don't have any of them yeah i would be curious what that what kind of software that would help with cardiology would run on an apple II. and yes leonard that was my second computer yeah that was my second computer 486 dx 266 yeah that thing was a warthog. It was wonderful. Yeah, boot disks. Yeah, yep, yep. I remember those too. Yeah, you could finally, at 486, you'd finally run DOS 5. Grab a soldier sound. Mm hmm. Yeah, those Sound Blaster knockoffs, I don't know for anybody else is here, those Sound Blaster knockoffs were. Uh, they were a pain in the butt and they never seemed to work. Um, I'm trying to remember. Sound Galaxy was one of them. I remember my neighbor had one on 386 and uh, we never got it working with Ultima 7. It was, it was brutal. Um, so here we are. The So we're going to buy a frigate. If you get a frigate, you get a skiff and this neat little feature where we can just buy extra skiffs. I think you can have up to nine skiffs on a frigate. Um, but this is an example of some of the stuff that I was trying to expose for people who didn't realize that, you know, this is a thing. Um, uh, we're just sort of trying to streamline it. Although what you'll find is I've, I plan on going back and trying to introduce some keyboard um, uh, controls for some of these menus for people who want a little bit more of the purest. This is it need to be. Jeez. Okay, well that would have been super fun. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I uh was that written in um in basic? What what did you I was curious what you wrote that in. Um something that I wrote quite a while ago. Um, and haven't touched for a while, and I'm not, you know, I'm. There might be opportunities where we can um, make it a little bit flashier, or maybe it just needs to be simple. But that's the that's the chat. I had an opportunity where I could have, um, I could have done an Ultima Seven style, where uh, because I happen to know what all of the keywords are, and you can track the keywords as they're as they're exposed. 
Um, so I could have done that where you can just sort of click through. But um, I don't know. This was one that I didn't want to give up on. I just, I, it's the thing I thought that I didn't agree with in Ultima 7. Just like when we went to point and click for Sierra games instead of the, uh, instead of just typing it in. If anyone remembers like, like Space Quest 1 or King's Quest 1, 2, or 3, and you had to like type as friggin' fast as you could uh, just to, uh, um, just so you didn't die. Oh, welcome, Sir John. Yeah, I bet. I bet that stuff. Yeah, I bet you that vintage, those vintage cards are. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Oh man, yeah, I remember mouse. Okay, so mouse drivers. I remember I had like three or four different mouse drivers with different memory footprints just so you could load the right one. So hopefully you had enough room for your, your sound card drivers. And, oh, and for, uh, for Roy, good for you, yeah. Um, I wrote a little assembly. Uh, I'll avoid it like the plague. I won't touch it anymore. <laughs> cute mouse. I, I don't know cute mouse. I assume that's just a mouse driver that people liked. I could never even tell the difference between all the mouse drivers either, right? Like, I don't know why one would load to be 30K and one would be 10K, right? It didn't, it didn't make any sense to me. Seems pretty straightforward. <laughs> no, no, no. I gave up on low-level languages a long time ago. Uh, this is 100% C-sharp. Because uh, that's what Unity likes, and that's what I like. Um, I was a developer uh, earlier in my career, full time, and now I'm a cloud architect, and I've sort of moved through some different stuff. But I develop on on the side just so that I can stay sharp, and I really miss it, and I quite like it. So, yeah, I know you were joking, <laughs> but <laughs> nonetheless, yeah. Um, all right. So I, I'm just going to hop around at some different uh, some different stuff here. Um, we'll just get out of here. So I don't know if anybody knew. Fun trivia. Oh, we'll get back to that. I'm I'm curious. I've I've considered switching to Godot a dozen times, uh, but every time I boot it up, I just don't could get anywhere with it. Um, so here's a fun piece of trivia is that um, the underworld is floor, uh, is actually just a floor, technically. Um, and there's ODLDE, by the way. So I, I guess I did know that, or just uh, not on the other one. Uh, so the underworld is floor minus one. Um, has no light. I don't, you can see I, I'm not poisoned as I'm walking across that. Um, I haven't. The swamp. I haven't uh, put that function in. Um, I do have the uh, the climb function with the um, the grappling hook, but like you can see, you can't tell the the, the mountains apart, right? So that's the like that's the kind of like tweaking that I'm talking about that you just uh, you just can't really get to yet. Um, and like things like so here. So we don't know what time of day it is uh, other than our pocket watch in the underworld. So I don't even, you know, why show that? All right. So let's take another warp to pause. Because that's what my notes say. Oh. Oh, that's not oh it's because i'm on the wrong floor so that's it just put me to where pause would be if it was in the under if it was in the underworld there we go 
Okay, well, I'm locked out, so I'm just going to change the time of day to lunch. There we go. That's going to let us in. I thought about um, uh, mouse movement controls. I've seen them, like for anybody who follows Scald, uh, I know he had them in there. I don't know if they're still in there. I didn't think anybody would use them. I thought they were all a bit awkward. Kind of like for anybody who remembers Eye of Beholder, I, I don't know anybody who used the, the on-screen mouse menu. So I didn't see the point. Okay, apparently, so he he's following a, <laughs> yeah, I think you're in Europe, right, uh, Sir John? Are you in, uh, I don't know if you're in Germany. Can't wait to translate it. Yeah, no, you got it. I, I haven't forgot. Yeah. <laughs> well, have a good night, Sir John. I appreciate it. Um, so everybody here is following um, a schedule. That's all part. So um, again, if if you're following or not, um, there's a lot of code. It's all on GitHub if anybody is ever curious. And it shows you how to dig into the data files um, and get things like, so he's got a schedule and four times a day he'll switch and he'll have to travel somewhere else. And then when he gets there, he'll have a behavior, an AI behavior of uh of some sort um but you know like you can't trade with him if he's in if he's going and eating you can't trade with him right he has to be at his uh at his shop um and that's the case for 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 all the shopkeepers um now let's see i haven't tried this function in quite a while so let's see Um, this is a this is an example of a quality of life improvement that I was shooting for. So right, we we know about the leave companion and pick up companion function, but who's actually left there? I I can just imagine how many people we've lost by leaving them at an inn. And if you ever wanted to get them back, you got to remember which inn you left them at. So at least at a glance, it's a little bit quicker, and you can. Uh, so if like we leave, Gweno. Right. So and then we say goodbye and we come back. We still have Gweno there. Right. So that's uh, that's handy. Let's have a sleep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, the trick is just know who you want before you ask them to join you. Right. Um, I don't know what the perfect uh, party is. Um, I don't. I don't have a super strong opinion other than I know I want a couple of fighters, and for the love of God, only one magic user because they're just going to get creamed. <laughs> yeah. Again, not my save file. So uh, yeah, she's she's just there for variety. In fact, I had her. Like, if I go grab her again. Come on, bud. There you go. She's. I actually leave her in a really bad position all the time. So if we look at her inventory. Okay, well, I made a liar of myself. Different save file. Never mind. So normally what I do with Gweno is um, I leave her with absolutely no equipment. So that when I'm... Uh, um, yeah, when I'm in a fight or whatever, I have somebody to test, you know, who's going to die quick or um, doesn't, you know, like the the magic axe is like 15 uh, range, right? So you can literally throw it anywhere as long as it's not blocked. Uh, <laughs> you'll see this a lot. I'm definitely, it's not lost on me. You can see these doors and how they're turned. Um that's because I have to guess which direction the door is, and my guesses are very poor. Um, yeah, 
So I'll, I'll, I don't know. I'll get back to that one day. But if you remember the original game, you like you had tiles, but you never stacked one tile on top of another. If the avatar was on a tile, you didn't see what was behind the tile. You didn't see that he was on brick or on swamp or whatever. Um, so that was one of the major challenges that I had um, with this was, was how do I figure out what's underneath? And so I have a bunch of guessing routines and they are pretty good. And then if they don't guess well, then I have um, override routines where I just, I go into like a, like a, a spreadsheet style and I, I just enter in the overrides. So you can see here, right? Like the sign. Uh, because I admit that sign looks like it is just one tile, but it's not. It's really two tiles and it's just made a bad guess. So I would just go in and I would, I would override that. All right. Um, continuing on the tour. I thought people would, I, I, I was hoping if anybody thinks, uh, you know, that something could be a little different, or if, if you think that I'm uh, a little too are uh, a little too far off the path, um, let me know. Cause I know I, I do get some really constructive feedback from some people who aren't necessarily thrilled, um, with some of the changes, uh, cause I know it, it's quite different, but when it came down to it, so for anybody who knows XU4, which is like the um, the re-implementation of Ultima 4, which is open source and is actually really helpful. I've used it quite a few times uh, for figuring some stuff out. Um, I was looking for something a little different because it was a re-implementation with some small quality of life. And I was looking for, at first I was going to re-implement and then I just, I just kept going. Um... Yeah, all right. Who needs some healing? Bueno. And uh, hopefully you guys... Oh, I bet you can't. Let me do that again. And you can hear the absolute worst. There we go. The, the sound effects are just awful. Oh, doesn't want to heal them because they're already healed. Okay. Oh, I guess we're not. Um, so, and this, I'll just, this will be the last shopkeeper. Cause I mean, you've seen one, you, you kind of seen them all, but there's something I did a little different here. You can see, I, this is my only original art <laughs> and it doesn't fit the aesthetic as well, uh, at all. But, um, so I'll get back to it at some point, make sure that it's blocky, like the old stuff and just 16 colors, um, like the old stuff. But, uh, I was, I was just trying to do something a little bit different. All right. I'm just looking at my notes. I think we'll go over to Iolo's hut. Curious for anybody who's on the chat. Um, I grew up saying Iolo. And I've heard it pronounced YOLO since. So that's how I say it but it doesn't really feel right to me yet. I don't know if anybody had figured it out. Just like I always said Shimino instead of Shamino. I, I try to catch myself now. So, interesting fact. Uh, so this right here, so we know this is where you start the game in Yolo's hut. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Now, Yolo's hut was actually I'm going to show you here the inspiration for this format. So, I stole it and there it is right there. 
and uh <laughs> I didn't even think about that sure <laughs> um so uh, this is RPG in a box. I've never actually used it. I just stumbled across it when I was doing some research on Steam. Uh, and um, yeah, so this is they did this first. And I was like, oh, I love that. I want to try that. And um, that's actually where it, it, uh, it began. And I've actually, I've reached out to them and, and let them know as well. They thought that was interesting. So, I mean, I want to make it look better than theirs. No offense, but uh, uh, that was sort of where it began. Oh, apparently I can't get wheat yet. <laughs> oh. Welcome, Cran. I don't know what the, uh, Ultima Five map. How do I get that? And Yolo was the originally Roy Jenkins. Who knew? Heck yeah! <laughs> yeah, I never played World of Warcraft. I, I um, for the same reason I haven't tried Heroin. I uh, it didn't seem like a good idea for me. Uh, but uh, I do know people who can play it and still enjoy it. Oh, I wasn't supposed to show you that. Those are broken, uh, but I know how to fix those. All right, so as I look around for, for more to show everybody, um, the offer stands. If you had any questions or if you had anything you wanted to see, um, Please do let me know. Um, a couple of new interfaces that I've been working on. Again, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll uh, you'll know. I think I know if you. Yes, you definitely would. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know if if Mike Ocho is having a um, a stream tonight, but I'll make sure. I'll probably be there. I'll make sure. I'm I don't take up too much time. Um, when I first started the interface, where are some of the monsters on the map? You're going to be disappointed, but I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> um, uh, so when I first started, I was emulating the entire interface. So um, you can see that in some of the earlier videos where like the use interface and the ready interface were almost identical, just like there in the original game. It was all keyboard driven. Uh, and it was a little like there wasn't really a quality of life improvement. Um, so I've gone back recently. And again, I know there's a lot of tweaks that, that are still left to be done, but but I like the idea that we can, you know, so here's your potions and let's see. That's what a heal, right? Okay, I want to heal Julia. There you go. Alakazam. Oh, that's not right. I'm going to make a note. It thinks that it's executing a scroll. Instead of potion. So this is pretty much what happens every time that I try to play through um, at all. Is... Uh, um, yeah, it's just bug after bug after bug. But bad news, Cran. Um, I think Sir John, he said he's gone to bed, so he might have kept it open, but uh, he's uh, he's across the pond. Um, so anyway, here, yeah, here's this is the use interface. One of the things I was trying to... <laughs> uh, one of the things I was trying to accomplish here was that, like you guys know likely right we got like this is the um, guide for four five six if you ever bought that uh, set together but right it's like you got the book of lore there's so much in it um, to make this more accessible right there we go 
uh, I just wanted to integrate more of the important information um, into there without spoiling it necessarily, right? So it like the crown, it doesn't say exactly what the crown does. We know what the crown does, um, but part of it is just is still fun in discovering. Yes, the second trilogy. Can I, I'll be honest with everybody in the stream. Uh, I don't usually admit this. I have never played one, two, or three. Um, I started I started at five, went back to four, and then worked my way up. Nor have I played eight, for that matter. But I don't feel like eight counts. I feel like, yeah, it's not, it doesn't feel like an ultimate game. You don't even have a party, I don't think, right? Is it supposed to be quest, not quests? Where? You have to tell me where I, if there was, if you remember. Oh, quest. Uh, I think I just, I meant quest items, I guess. I got some catching up to do. Yeah, Mike is awesome. Yeah, I enjoy his, uh, and he's doing Ultima 5 right now. So um, for anybody who's interested, you should definitely stick around. Someone scan that more part. Oh, okay. I'm, you, you got me curious. In the Book of Lore, the Ultima 5 Book of Lore? I don't know. Okay, I'll have a peek. Um, not until later. I until Ultima Online. I never played Ultima Online. Um, for the same reason I didn't play World of Warcraft. I think, although when World, uh, Ultima Online came out, uh, we were probably I was probably still on my fourteen four K modem. But um, if you guys are from using Apple twos. You probably think my 14.4 is plenty fast enough. All right. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I know one was remade and uh, um, it looks so much more playable. And uh, for any does it, for anybody here, if you haven't followed Fox Cunning, um, you definitely should because he does. Um, he tweaks the um, the old Ultima NES games. Uh, now, I never played the Ultima NES, but I did play the Game Boy ones, and they were a lot of fun. Yeah, fair enough, Cran. I uh, so I have I have a, a total mishmash of old stuff. I have an Ultima Underworld one and two combo box full of old Ultima four and five discs. And Martian Dreams, like it was just like all over. It's uh, <laughs> I don't know what I did with half of my stuff. I do have all my Ultima 9 box though, including for anybody who played Ultima 9, it was so buggy that they sent a free replacement CD later that was patched because the first version was so awful. Uh, but I actually quite liked Ultima 9 myself. I know it's not everybody's favorite. Oh, Mr. Vin Vingard, <laughs> um, it, does he have a Twitch channel? If he does, would you paste it in? I, I didn't know that. If he did, um, but I know Fox is working on um, Ultima One. I think, and is that a re a fresh implementation, maybe of uh, of Ultima One on NES? So I I wouldn't be sure, but. My thinking is right now when I'm done all of this uh, one day is I, I'd actually love to make an NES game. I literally have no idea how. I don't write 6502 assembly or whatever it is, but it looks a lot of fun. And I watch a lot of YouTube. Carpet is missing an A. What? Oh, it's it's missing an E too. <laughs> it's it's That's because it's a short form that's in uh, the data. Yes. We should have a magic crypt, right? <laughs> um, there's a lot of short forms in the uh, in the data file, so that's um, 
probably just what we're seeing. So if you looked at the original game, let's just see actually. And I do this. This is, <laughs> you know what? I feel like that should be a secret item. I'm actually going to make a note that we should probably have a magic crum crumpet. I can put whatever I want in here. Why not? <laughs> I feel like you have a theme going on here. <laughs> uh, yeah, there it is. See, I'm vindicated. Magic Kerpert. Seven wasn't ISO originally. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean, Leroy. Or Ferroy. <laughs> Am I getting that mixed up, or do you have two parts to your name, and I'm just remembering that? Oh, isometric. Um... I, my reading is it was something different. It wasn't not, I, it was, there's like this in between mode. I can't remember what it's called, but we can, yeah, we can have a look. But I think if you, if you look it up, you'll find that it had a, it wasn't quite isometric because isometric is like three different angles that have to be just like this. And that's what an isometric is. Um, and that's what mine is. Um, but I don't think six was, or seven was technically that. Um, now, another fun fact is the very early implementation of this, um, I had a different angle and somebody had emailed me and said, um, your angle is wrong. It's not, not isometric. And uh, I had to switch it around. I'm, I, I'm still not entirely sure that the ISO angles are quite right for this yet. And But the thing is, I can switch it later. So I again, I don't get too hung up on it. Um, some people will find it confusing. Like I'm pushing the down button right now, right? And I'm going down and left. I know in the world I'm still going down, but it, it is a little bit off-putting um, sometimes. Now, um, Furroy, Fur, Furroy, is that, am I saying that right? Furroy? Um, I'm going to load up. So um, monsters in the overworld right now exist, are only, um, only come in from the save files. So um, I'm not currently spawning them yet myself, but they can exist in the overworld if the save file has them. Uh, but they also have no AI yet um, on the overworld. So you can see the serpent in the bottom and you can see the uh, swarm over here, but I can't attack them. And I don't know why I'm coming in on that angle. I'm just going to write a note there. I should be coming in the bottom. Wrong entry. Wrong bridge. Um, yeah, but then when I'm done killing these guys, let's see if I can get him to divide. I just did that the other day. You guys are seeing all the bugs. There we go. Here's the ye old battle report with an E. Yeah, and you can see, so they're still on there. So that's why I'm saying it's kind of there, but I just... So what ends up happening is I'll get, like, completely engrossed in something. <laughs> you weren't supposed to notice that. <laughs> um, I get completely engrossed in something and then I get sick of it. So that's like the combat. I've gone through multiple iterations of it. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so sick of it. I need a break. So then I'll go work on something else for a while. Um, the water is not animated. Um, almost all my animations are, are super simple and super poor. Um, so I definitely will. My gut tells me that it's going to like, it's going to be put you in like a trance like state, I think when I do finally uh, animate it. I was thinking, there was another thing I was thinking about doing just for fun. Um, and you'll see some other top downs do this uh, is like weather. 
like putting like a rain effect on would be super easy. It wouldn't affect the game at all, but it would be kind of cool. And it could affect the lighting um, as well. Uh, yeah, so there's there's our enemies. I can't attack them right now because they're in the water. I don't even... I'd be surprised if it didn't crash it. Yeah, it actually... I can see it caused an error. All right. Um, so then I've recently been working on... Are you riding a magic carpet? You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> um well okay so there's actually something interesting with the magic group uh as well notice that i changed directions so in the original game um you only have two graphics you have facing left or facing right and i had to do all these different directions so i don't make like new sprites for it or anything like that but there's a, like every little change ends up turning into something ginormous right okay well there's grass underneath the carpet so now i need to figure out how to put that on top and uh and now i need to be able to turn in different directions um if i'm in a boat or a frigate then and i want to change direction then the first time i change direction i don't move the second time i move like it's just it's all the minutiae getting the basics is really easy it's like getting all the the edge cases That yeah, I have yeah. I'm curious if you have any perspective on that. Um, the the characters turning as they move. I've considered it. Um, I'll, I'll probably test it and see how it looks. Uh, but yeah, I, I've thought about it. I I, th I think if I did it right, it could look kind of interesting. Um, but no, I haven't I haven't done that yet. Sounds like a pain in the ass, but you know. I could see that it uh, it doesn't match. And the horse, too, um, it does what the carpet does. So it has multiple directions as well. <laughs> yes, there are always... You can see the errors right here. That's how I know there's errors, because they come up right underneath. Uh, I had a slight up-down animation to show floating on the carpet. Oh, I like that. That would be super easy, too. Super easy. Up, down on the carpet. Function. I like that a lot, actually. You had the line of sight stuff turn black in towns, but not in the overworld. Uh, it does. Yeah, no, it will. Um, it just depends what's blocking it. So, for example... If we go to Yolo's hut on the overworld, where are you? There you are. Right? This is what the original game does. It, and then there you go. And then you can see that um, you have that black area. Now, there may be edge cases where I'm not doing it properly, or maybe I'm bleeding through something um, that I'm not supposed to. Um, but that's really easy to fix. Uh, but but yeah, that's the intent. So what I have behind the scenes, I hope I don't have my budget up here. Tile data, that sounds right. So this is something that I built. Um, and this is one of many, many, many spreadsheets, which are all the game data. Right? Um, can I walk on it? Can a boat pass it? Can a skiff pass it? Can a carpet go over a horse? So, like, you have all of these circumstances here. Um, what kind of tile goes underneath? Um, is it a building? Um, if you attack somebody on there or they attack you, what kind of combat map do you have? So, it's like, <laughs> I mean, it's super extensible. So, every time I find a new circumstance, um, I can put it in there, but like, where would it be? Somewhere in here uh, is it, it? It is. Does light pass through it? Uh, but it's. Oh, there it is. Blocking light. Yep. Right. So if you said, oh, uh, you know, tombstones need to block light. 
then I just go and I change that, and then the game just applies that. Uh, I try to use the original game data as much as possible, but a lot of the stuff is just impossible to find in the game data. So I end up just doing it myself. Uh, and that can take hours and hours and hours, but at least when it's done, it's done. And now there's a record of it. All right. Um, so this is the busiest one that I have uh, for the user interface. Um, which is the ready party. I've been working on this. Is This is the one I've been working on um, up until maybe yesterday. Uh, but I'm really excited about it because I got to implement some new components that I'll be able to reuse in some of the other um, user interface pieces as well. Has some interesting ideas like, you know, okay, that's it's easy to unequip. Um, we know that if I want to equip a two-handed axe and I have a magic axe, right? I can't, so it's going to unequip it for me. In the old days, in the old version, or the original version, um, it would just say, hey, unequip your shield first. Um, but I tried something different and I just uh, just did it for them. There's also, there we go, I knew Gweno. Yeah, so this is nerfed Gweno that I used to, to die in all of the battles and uh, accomplish nothing with the team. Um, but we also have, I also added these so that you can quickly see how much um, additional damage you're going to do or if you're going to do less damage. Uh, and then in this case, it's too heavy. So in the documentation, like the, the booklet, it doesn't tell you how heavy um, or how much strength you need to pick something up and use it. Um, so I thought that I would offer that because that's handy. In the In the original game, it would just say, basically no <laughs> like, you know it wouldn't let you do it um, and also provide range so like if I use the long sword as an example and then I go and I want to use the morning no it's a terrible example apparently because it does the same damage there you go the short sword right so quickly at a glance I can see it does less damage etc um, yeah and then effects I haven't done this yet but like when you equip like a ring, of um, regeneration, right? So it'll pop up and it'll say regeneration. Something like that. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, yes, I understand. Okay. I'm making a note. Yes. Yeah, you're saying that these show the shield on the left side and the attack on the on, and the weapon on the right and that sh since i like them like this they should be the same here that makes sense yeah <laughs> i got you now <laughs> okay well i mean that's the big stuff um certainly there's a hundred uh, more things that i haven't done um, of course, but, um, yeah, I don't know if, uh, if anybody has any more questions, otherwise, um, we can just sort of wrap up. All right. Thank you, Cran. And I'm going to steal all those icons. I don't know if I can steal them, but I'm going to try. I don't know much about Twitch. Right on. Okay, well, thank you, everybody. Um, I appreciate the time. And uh, I will just drop um, just my blog in here. If... Um, if anybody has any ideas or any, I, I, I love talking shop. I love talking about this stuff um, and uh, hearing different ideas. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, um, this isn't just for me. I, I want to make sure that um, sort of the ultimate, uh, Ultima fandom has fun with it when we're all done. So um, if, uh, if, if it's not up to snuff for the fandom, then, uh, then I need to keep working.
I will. I'll tell you, Cran, I'm not on the, I think you're on the West Coast and we'll see what time my bedtime is. Uh, but uh, that sounds good. What what time um, and time zone are you streaming? And thank you, Mr. Vanguard. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> Sp speed run what are you speed running is it king's quest oh you're in new york oh okay i'm okay yeah i'm i'm just north of you in ontario um so definitely same time zone maybe just different sleep schedules Right on. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everybody. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll catch you in, uh, in, in Mike's stream in about an hour, hopefully. Thanks so much.